But last Tuesday, in the violent blast, a small service is being held for the tech giant and father of three at Divinity Church this Sunday. You don't have to worry, Lucius. Tiffany, I'm gonna take care of your family as if they were my own. Just like Lucius took care of you. Lucius helped raise you, Bruce. It was family. Riddler's attack on the casino was one thing, but this, this, is personal. We can't let him get away with it. Riddler struck at the heart of our operations and tore a family apart in the process. Riddler will pay for what he's done. I swear to you, I will make him suffer. Maybe it's what's called for given the circumstances. Of course, it won't bring poor Lucius back. I can't imagine how devastated she must be to lose her father in such a violent way. <laughs> I should go talk to her. Yes, she can use all the support she can get. Hey, <laughs> Tiffany. I still can't believe he's gone. None of this. None of this feels real. <sighs> Tiffany, I... I know what you're going through. I remember what it was like when I lost my parents. <sighs> that, uh... Sudden emptiness. There's no feeling like it in the world. I don't think it'll ever go away. It certainly didn't for me. He loved working for you, you know? They hardly saw him at home because of it. Mom used to complain my little brother was growing up without a dad. Now I guess it's true. He was so busy. I can't remember the last time I got to hang out with him. Just father and daughter. I just thought there'd be more time. There were so many things I wanted to talk to him about. I asked a lot of him. Maybe too much. And he gave it all, didn't he? A real company man. Well, I hope it was worth it. <sighs> Tiffany... I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't blame you. <laughs> hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just let it out. I'm just... trying to wrap my head around it all. I saw his remains, Bruce. There, there was hardly anything left. What were you guys working on that could have caused that? It, it doesn't quite add up. Please tell me. Tiffany, I will tell you soon. Just not here. What do you mean? Why not? It's not the right time. Hot, Bruce. What are you mixed up in? Fine. Just tell me one thing. That weird disc. Was that what killed him? Did you put my father's life at risk for that? I'm begging you. Just tell me that one thing. I need to know. I thought it was safe, Tiffany. I, I really did. I had no idea Lucius could get hurt. 
please forgive me. Forgive you? I hope you can forgive yourself. Whatever you got my father into, I will find out. And I will shout it to the world. All be grateful. You... you knew my father? Well, no, but judging by all the lovely people here, he must have been quite a man. John, can I talk to you a sec? Bruce! I was hoping I'd bump into you. <laughs> Why don't we catch up over here? Yeah, I'd love that. We have so much to catch up on. Enjoy the rest of your day. Look, I know it's a close casket, but uh, I can see by the genes uh, your friend was a looker, huh? Why are you here, John? I told you I'd see you again, didn't I? You and me, we're two threads in the same stitch. Look, I, I, I got you a little something just, just to mark the occasion. I knew you'd be hurting, see? I thought it might make you feel better. I'm so glad you like it. People get upset at the littlest things. It hasn't, um... It hasn't been easy for me out here, you know? I'm the new guy now. It's the freedom that gets to you. There's so damn much you hardly know what to do with it. <laughs> it's not like Arkham. Sometimes I miss those padded walls. You knew where the lines were drawn. Which ones not to cross. How did you get out? Oh my god, did you escape? <laughs> Didn't have to. Dr. Leland signed the papers herself. She always had a soft spot for me. If everyone could please take their seats, uh, we will begin. Would you just sit down? Today we gather to honor the memory of Lucius Fox. He was a friend. A father. A husband. A leader. You are crashing my friend's funeral, John. You better have a good reason. Oh, I do. I need that, uh, favor you owe me. For settling the score with Zaz, and, you know, getting you out of Arkham. You're, you're gonna do right by me, aren't you? I know you're a man of your word. Many things to many different you're crazy if you think any of that matters now. His kindness. His Crazy's not a very nice word, Bruce. It's, it's derogatory, and Dr. Leland says that people use it as a weapon. Matthew tells us, Blessed are those who mourn. For they You see, I met some inspiring people out here, made some new friends, made a kind of pact. They're amazing, Bruce. That special breed who live by their own rules. They remind me of you. Of your father. So who are they? You'll find out when you meet them. They're looking to bring someone like you into the fold. I, you, you will meet them for me, won't you? Please, I've, I've got a lot writing on this. I already told them you would. Please don't let me down. Consistent throughout these stories, his kindness, his unerring 
Don't raise me out. Please? So many points in your lives. <sighs> Disappointing. <laughs> you know, I spoke so highly of you. I told them you'd fit right in. Just makes me want to, I don't know, lash out. We're here to mourn. Please, you trust me again. You'll be mourning the loss of your teeth. Oh, easy, easy, John. Take a deep breath, okay? Calm down. You're right. Hmm. Sorry, Bruce, that outburst, it, it's antisocial, I know. Dr. Leland says I have a hard time handling rejection. I think it's the stress. You see, I've got this enemy. Real piece of work. Calls himself the Riddler. How do you know the Riddler? Know him? <laughs> I want to rip his eyeballs out. He's a thief and a killer. And worst of all, he's... He's rude. I tried to let the authorities know the kind of lowlife they're dealing with, but... Wait a minute, you know him too. Of course, a man of Bruce Wayne's caliber knows everyone. I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, just from the news... The guy's clearly a murderer, sick in the head. Don't know the half of it. If I had my way, that smarmy know-it-all would never leave his hole. His hole? You know where he is. No, no, not exactly, no. Maybe I said too much. I'm your friend, John. You can trust me. Uh, trust is the mainstay of any healthy relationship. I want that for us, Bruce. I really do. Yeah, I, I really don't know much. I heard the egomaniac always made people go to him for meetings. Somewhere in the East End. Where in the East End? Honestly, that's all I know. And even that might be out of date. If you're so eager to find him, why don't you let me help you? I'll find out where he is and get back to you. See if I can't find out where that jerk puts his head down. It'd be just like the old days. Do not get involved. When this clearly means so much to you. No, no. Don't you worry about a thing. I'll take care of this. Just meet my friends later. Like I asked. Look, I think I outstayed my welcome here. I'm, I'm just gonna slip away. Excuse me. I'm sorry. It's, uh... It's been so nice catching up, Bruce. I miss this. This trust between us. I know we'll see each other again soon. Be in touch. Goodbye, Bruce. Until next time. Intriguing fellow. Certainly not one for decorum. I don't think that outburst went unnoticed. Well, whatever you say about John, he gave me a lead on Riddler's location. Inform Gordon. Tell him to drag up GCPD records on Gotham's East End. And tell him we're on Riddler's trail. <laughs>